This is the JPJ e-plate currently available for EVs in Malaysia. Today, we are going behind the scenes with Handal Cheria to see how it is made. The GPJ e-plate journey did not start in this facility though. It actually starts at the EV dealership or authorized treatment center. This is because at the moment only them that can order and fit the JPJ e-plate to your vehicle. So they will place your order and related documents such as registration number, reservation receipt, JPJ e-bit award letter or e-daftar temporary certificate to the JPJ e-plate registration system. And that will end up to station number one in this facility. Once your order has been verified, it will then be passed to station number two, which will record the serial number of the raw number plates and match them with your vehicle registration, aka your car's plate number. By the way, the underlying technology of the JPJ e-plate came from Tunis International Group, a company specialized in electric vehicle identification based in Germany. So the base plate came standard from the factory in Germany with laser engraved serial number embedded RFID tag, digital signature, holographic strike, that light green mark, and of course, the jalur gemilang. So once that is done, the raw plates would then go to station number three, where the embossing machine is located. As the JPJ e-plate is still in pilot phase and only involve a small group of vehicles, the machine used in the JPJ e-plate production are still being operated manually. The staff will arrange the embossing dies according to the plate number, and off it go into the machine. It takes the machine around 3 seconds to make indentation on the raw plates. From there, the plates will move on to station number 4, where there is another set of machines that are being used to hot stamp the foil that give the letters on the plate their colors. By the way, there is also a separate machine for rear plates as they don't come with the high security foil. Only the front plate has such features. After that, the finished JPJ e-plate will go through one more round of data entry process at station number 5, which involves the digital signature on the plate and the windscreen RFID sticker. This station is also responsible for the final quality check. Fun fact, there is a dedicated machine that will shred the JPJ e-plate to pieces if it fails the QC process, maybe due to mistake in details, damaged base plates and other related reasons. This is because the JPJ e-plate is deemed as an official identification document, which is why they will not be thrown away just like that. Once the QC is done, it is time to pack the JPJ e-plate before they are shipped to the EV dealerships and authorized treatment centers. Some of them may opt to self-pick up the JPJ e-plate directly at Cyberjaya. In case you missed our previous explainer, each JPJ e-plate package not only includes the front and rear plate, but also the windscreen RFID sticker and security screws, although it is not compulsory to use them for now. So there you go, that is how the JPJ e-plate is made. If you are an existing EV owner, stay tuned for its availability this November. My name is Chief Capri and I'll see you in the next one. And I'm going to bring this plate back.